So moving on to the hip. Now with the hip, we gotta have good hip flexion. Because we're sitting here, we gotta have some decent hip flexion, not a ton, but we gotta have a good amount. We don't wanna feel any pinchy here. And also the thighs, the inner thighs can be, you know, these can be a, an interesting point because you're not always gonna sit like this. Sometimes you may widen your base when you're sitting, right? So we're gonna address the hips and the adductors all together. And what I like to do is I like to actually widen my knees comfortably and I like to kind of sit my butt back a little, right? And when you do this, you should feel a little bit in the inner thighs here and come back. You could rock. If you're able to do this, great. If you're not, you know, we can adjust it, but you can rock, but you can also work kind of side to side. So what I'll do is instead of being in this kind of position, this is not very stable. Sometimes you want to widen your base when you're, uh, you know, in somebody's guard. I'll widen my knees. I'll kind of work on sitting my butt back, right? So we'll do this a little bit. And then I'll actually work side to side. So I'm trying to bring my weight, shift my weight over one side. That'll give me a stretch on this thigh and the other way. And there's a lot of options here. You can actually take one leg and straighten it and then work back. A little rocking here. These are awesome. I feel all that in there. Come back the other way. Again, if you're restricted in your knee, you'll know that, but maybe you're restricted in your thigh or in your inner thigh. So we're addressing all the areas. Coming back again, five times, 10 to 15 seconds. I like the shorter hold times. If you're gonna do some of this sequence before training, shorter hold times are key. If you're gonna do it you know, after training or kind of on off days, you're gonna do, do longer hold times as well. So we've addressed kind of that inner thigh as well, right? 